तो लेडीज एंड जेंटमैन विश यू अ वेरी 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 हैप्पी दिवाली शुभ दीपावली टू ईच एंड एवरी वन ऑफ यू वॉचिंग दिस थैंक यू फॉर योर सपोर्ट टू दी एक्सोटिक एस्ट्रोलॉजी कम्युनिटी एंड आई प्रे टू लॉर्ड राम भगवान राम दैट ही बेस्टोस यू विद ऑल ऑस्पिशियसनेस सीता राम लक्ष्मण हनुमान एंड द एंटायर family of lord ram they are all divine beings eternally existing in the spiritual world in vaikuntha may everybody bless you to become successful materially spiritually physically mentally emotionally and intellectually all right so today we are here to discuss 2025 for every ascendant transits of jupiter saturn rahu and ketu will be considered for this as you know next year 2025 all these four planets are changing signs a very prominent year it happens very rarely that no uh, in one year all these four planets are changing signs okay uh, so therefore we shall uh, first see the dates of when these transits are happening and when i am giving the predictions for every ascendant i will assume as if the transit has already happened so for example uh, if i speak about jupiter then i will already i will speak as if jupiter is already in gemini all right but till the time that particular planet makes the transit the current disposition will be in place which means for example uh, let's start with jupiter so jupiter will move into the sign of gemini on 14th of may next year 2025 and it will be there in gemini till 1st of june 2026 so till 14th may the results of jupiter in taurus will be applicable all right and then saturn on 29th march 2025 next year it is entering into the sign of pisces and till 23rd february 2028 saturn will continue to be in the sign of pisces and in between uh, he will be retrograde of course even jupiter also <clears throat> and rahu ketu will also also change signs and they stay in one sign for around 18 months as you know so rahu will move into aquarius on may 2025 depending uh, on which rahu you take you know true or mean not depending on that that the date will vary but by end of may the transit will be complete and rahu will be there in aquarius till december 2026 again depending on to node mean node the dates will vary for december but by end of december you can assume the transit is complete and then ketu also as you know rahu ketu are always transiting together no so ketu will enter the sign of leo from again may 2025 and stay in leo until december 2026 all right so therefore these four planets will make their transits and they will primarily decide what happens in your life but don't forget first your horoscope and then your mahadasha antardasha and only after that you should see transits all right so god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him especially today on diwali and if you want a personalized consultation for your chart then please go to my website down in the description section and If you are new don't forget to hit uh, the thumbs up and also subscribe of course all right so now we go to the sign of Aries Aries lagna what is going on Aries so Jupiter will be in Gemini in your third house now uh, and this transit will encourage growth in your communication in your learning in short travels uh, you can do excellent while giving interviews so if you want to crack that dream job then this is the best time okay and you may experience improvement in your relationships in general with people because third house is communication and jupiter as you know is a natural benefit so whenever he goes there he will tend to bless you there so improve relationships with your neighbors with your siblings and you can explore you know new areas you can do certifications new hobbies new interests and career wise it's a favorable period because it will also aspect your 11th house right from the third house and it will also aspect your 9th house so phenomenal period for your profession also networking people communication gains all this will come for you aries okay then saturn will be in your 12th house in pisces and this will emphasize that you need to introspect a bit more you know you have to become a bit more spiritual most important is you have to learn detachment 
and you have to focus on managing your expenditure because if you are spending too much money then you may react because see what is happening Jupiter is aspecting your 11th so he will increase your money but Saturn is in 12th so he will increase your expenditure also so it's like saying you know you are earning a lot but uh, you you are not able to save much okay but the 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 problem here is Jupiter will only aspect for one year right and then Jupiter will uh, uh, then but but Saturn is there for three years and all so you have to control your expenses otherwise it's trouble because after this uh, Jupiter will also aspect your twelfth house later okay next year so therefore this can be uh, this can mean that your expenses are increasing so. Try to do budgeting and see where your money is going. And being detached is the best thing you can do with Saturn in 12th. And on the positive side, you can, uh, because Saturn is your 10th lord, 11th lord, you can get a lot of opportunities, you know, foreign in foreign lands, career opportunities, overseas ventures. And only thing you need to understand is that during this time, you have to learn to maintain like, you know, healthy boundaries in your personal and in your professional life. So, uh, if some people are trying to come and intimidate you, you have to, you have to draw the line. Okay, so all the best, Aries. Now for Rahu Ketu, you need to see that Rahu will be in your eleventh. This is fantastic, fantastic, fantastic again for your profession. So Rahu transit here can bring gains through unconventional means. You know, like huge network circles could come to you. The increased social interactions, especially with foreigners. And you may get a lot of support from friends or from networks in general, okay? 11th house shows people of all kinds. So it could be anybody, your spouse, your in-laws, your family, anybody can support you, friends, especially friends. But only only thing you have to be aware of is when Rahu is in 11th, a lot of people will come to you to, you know, apparently give you something. But you have to understand that they have some inner motives behind because of which they are doing okay so they may not be literally your friends and they might backstab you for some some reason then ketu will be in your fifth house ketu in fifth house is great for spirituality for uh, discovering your original creativity so it can happen that you used to do some creative work when you were a child okay and now, uh, because you you became an adult and you got responsibilities and you left that hobby, so it is possible that indeed you might you know uh, yeah start doing the hobbies again. Okay, it's very much possible. And Ketu in the fifth for sure means you should do uh, chanting of mantras. Okay, so overall for you Aries next year, it's a time where. You should do spiritual practices because Saturn, Ketu are involved with the 5th and 12th. So non-negotiable. And Jupiter, Rahu is in 3 and 11. So this will give you a lot of opportunities in your profession and overall in your external world. So the best thing you should do is do whatever you can. Put all your energies, put all your efforts. But at the same time, be detached and remember that everything can be taken away from you at any moment. All right. So, all the best, Aries. Now, we go to Taurus, Vishab Lagna. Taurus Ascendant, what's going on? Jupiter will transit your second house. This is fantastic for, you know, financial stability and opportunity for gains through communication, through finance, uh, through the finance sector, through investing, you know, through uh, hospitality industry, through food, through recreation or family-related activities. And this is a favorable time in general to, you know, get married if you are looking to get married or if you are married and you want to have children, then also this is a this is the perfect time. And uh, you should also focus a bit on your savings and uh, build a strong foundation because uh, the second house shows your foundation. And when Jupiter is transiting your second house, it's the best time to build your foundation. So. The second house also shows your family and your self-worth, you know, anybody who feels like family to you. So it's a great time to expand, you know, maybe you have some friends and with them you can become more close, okay, it, it is possible. And Saturn will be in the sign of Pisces, as you know, which is your 11th house. So this is phenomenal, this is brilliant. 
this will promote you know like uh, steady growth in your profession long term goals you know realistic progress will be made for your life vision for your uh, goals your prominent goals in life okay maybe like you know like career marriage you know wealth and all this but there will be a lot of commitment which will be required so the second house 11th house both are houses of money as you know so jupiter and saturn transiting uh, in these two houses it means money will flow okay but there's another good news for you which i will give you in a moment <laughs> uh, so uh, for you jupiter saturn is indicating you will make a lot of money but you will have to put efforts okay especially with saturn in 11 things can be a bit slow sometimes but it will give you gradual growth okay and the best news for you you are the winner of this year because rahu will be in the sign of aquarius which is again your 10th house so rahu will bring out you know unconventional uh, streak in your career you know something completely uh, bizarre can happen in a good sense okay <laughs> and rahu in 10th it's the best placement because 10th house is where the sun gets directional strength and Rahu loves to eclipse the sun and moon. Okay, so this is a this is the best time for you to capitalize on that brand new career opportunity to get into trendy things like, you know, AI or whatever. Some technology you should learn, some leadership role you should aspire for. Okay, so if you are you know into it and you know you are a developer you can try for a senior role or you know if you are into some other sector you can try for a manager role or a senior manager vice president ceo or ceo role, something like that depending on your dasha and your age of course <clears throat> so uh, this is the best period for you d d d d d best period for your profession there is no better year for you okay now ketu will be in your fourth house so this shows you might feel a bit detached from your you know, home or you, you may become too much of a workaholic. Okay, so because of that, you may realize that you are not spending time at your home. You are only working and your the people in your home might complain. Okay, and uh, or it can also happen that something happens in your home because of which, you know, you feel kind of, you, you, you are just pissed off. Okay. <laughs> And you are becoming detached by force, okay? Now, this is not the best thing to happen. Uh, but yeah, that could happen. You know, somebody speaks something to you and you're like, ah, go, go to hell. <laughs> I, 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 I don't want to interact with you, okay? You're maybe somebody in your family, okay? Maybe some relative. <laughs> so, and you may have this tendency to like, you know, talk back. Now, that's fine. But make sure you are doing it in the right way so overall in short this is the best time for your profession grow because second house 11th house 10th house these these houses have these three pairs jupiter saturn rahu phenomenal it is for you and be careful of things in your home because of ketu there all right taurus please take care all the best now we go to gemini mithun lagna what's going on very very interesting fantastic year for you why do I say this? Because Jupiter will be in your first house. Saturn will be in your 10th. Rahu will be in your 9th. Ketu will be in your 3rd. Phenomenal. All brilliant houses. Okay. And the most powerful houses. At least the first 10th and 9th. Phenomenal transit for you. Phenomenal year actually. So Jupiter in first house is a great time for personal growth. No optimism. You know, increased wisdom learning from your guru taking to spiritual life <clears throat> it's a great time to watch on your uh, self-confidence your self-confidence might get a boost you know you may feel good about yourself and others may find that your personality is very magnetic and you need to take advantage of this transit to initiate new projects okay so try to do something new explore new people new friendships new communities do spiritual practices overall it's a great transit for self-development. And then Saturn in Pisces in the 10th house. Phenomenal this is. Uh, carrier responsibilities will increase uh, nonetheless. And Saturn's uh, transit will bring in stability, 
with gradual growth in the professional pursuits okay so therefore if you if you have any plans of you know like starting your own company or yeah do having a side hustle or getting a promotion then this is the perfect time hard work and perseverance is required okay the, 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 these these two qualities are non negotiable now in your profession especially because saturn will be in the 10th house and rahu as you know is in aquarius in your 9th house and rahu transit in the 9th will bring in some unusual opportunities for spiritual gatherings okay and also for higher learning foreign travel and uh, you need to understand that during this time you need to be a bit cautious about uh, people from whom you are taking guidance because it might happen uh, if your dasha is not very good it might happen that people may come and give you wrong information false news you know fake fake news so therefore if you are going to get a career consultation or a marriage consultation or or an astrology consultation from an astrologer please make sure you check their credentials properly if they are in youtube you at least watch you know 50 or 100 videos and then you <clears throat> decide okay nonetheless this is a great time to uh, get a guide also like you know maybe you are hitting the gym and you are on losing weight so you can hire a trainer okay it's a best time then ketu is in leo in the third house this is also a very uh, powerful yet a uh, challenging okay but i would still say it's a very powerful placement because this will force you to introspect in your communication and and ask this question to yourself what the hell do i need in this world why am i doing certain things the way i am doing okay so this is a this is a phase where you will have to introspect on your personal courage also and don't forget jupiter is already in the first house so this will help you identify yourself so this is a period where you should focus on being mindful of what you are doing you know what you are speaking how you are writing what the why are you writing something to whom are you writing is it required are you writing less are you writing more and rather than you know making decisions impulsively because ketu in third can make you uh, you know take impulsive decisions okay so overall this is a transit where you uh, you will have to understand that i need to improve myself and if you try you can improve you will improve yourself okay so in short your focus should be on communication self improvement career and learning okay so basically self growth self improvement and focus on working your skill with hard work and you will have a great year gemini all right please take care So now we go to Cancer, Kark Lagna. What's going on? How will 2025 be for you? Jupiter is in your 12th house when Jupiter enters Gemini, and Saturn will be in your 9th when he enters Pisces, and Rahu in Aquarius in your 8th, and Ketu in Leo, second house. So what does this tell? This tells me that it's time for self-discovery. Why do I say this? Because the 8th house the 9th house and the 12th house primarily the 8th and the 9th they deal with your own inner conflicts they deal with your inner challenges and your inner ideals what do you believe is right what is good what is bad so now along with this the second house is involved second house shows your self esteem what do you value in life so 8th house is you know confronting your weaknesses what what is that which drags you down ninth house is what enlightens you so it's like a situation where you have a mixture of darkness and enlightenment and you are checking your self esteem what what is important what do i value what matters for me okay so 2025 is a year where you must ask this question to yourself what actually matters in my life what is that which is actually important if you don't ask this question then it's trouble so on the other hand you have jupiter in gemini in the 12 so this is a period of introspection and spiritual exploration so you must do spiritual practices try to visit some spiritual community regularly so this transit can bring insights about your own self 
through meditation, solitude, and also at times going overseas, but that's not mandatory. Although it could happen because the ninth house is also linked, so it could happen, but that's not like a prerequisite, okay? And financially, it is important that you monitor your expenses. If you don't, then yeah, it can get out of control. Now, with Saturn in the ninth, it will promote a realistic approach to beliefs, you know, studies and long distance travel. It can give you intense relationships with your mentors, with your guru, guide, counselor, or even with your father. So you may deepen your faith and understanding through structured learning. So if you want to learn something, cancer, it will it will not be random. You are just going and grazing videos. No, it will be structured through, you know, an online course or a mentorship. And there will be discipline. So your mentor will be very strict with you. No, you got to do this every day. Okay. <laughs> and Rahu in Aquarius, transformation, secrets, mystical experiences, interest towards occult gains or losses from the stock market. And there is a situation where you feel that you can do much better, but you have to confront your weaknesses. You have to confront your inner demons, the anarthas, lust, anger, greed, envy, pride, illusion, calm, growth, low, mo, mother, matsari, all these have to be confronted. And because of Rahu in the eighth, this could bring, you know, sudden financial changes. There could be a situation where there is sudden job loss if your dasha is not good. So please be careful on your uh, financial uh, side. Then there could be issues with your inheritance or there could be, you know, things like, you know, depression and all this. Okay, so a bit tough here. You have to, you have to be on guard. So whenever you see something is wrong, you have to detect it immediately and you have to act on it. If you see that, your manager or your senior is giving you feedback about your bad performance, then it, it, it could be a red, red sign, okay? And Ketu in the second, this will encourage you to be a bit detached from your finances. Now, Jupiter in 12th, Ketu in second, this could be an amazing combination where you are a bit detached regarding your finances or you are just, you know, detached by force. So you are, you are, not able to gain, you know, you are losing in uh, terms of finances, you are losing in terms of your professional life. And then what do you do? The only choice you have is to, you know, just do nothing, right? So it could be either way. So either you have healthy detachment or you are, you are forced to be detached by force, okay? But nonetheless, the 8th house, 9th house, 12th house, these are houses of self-discovery and because of K2 in second, it can also give you interest towards, you know, minimalistic living, you know, like simple living, high, uh, high thinking, okay, it's like doing or having that level of luxury, which is sufficient, which is necessary, and beyond that, if it comes, that's great, so cancer, I don't have the best news for you, but you need to understand, you should use this period for self-discovery and Control your weaknesses, control your uh, anarthas, and control your expenses. All right? Take care, Cancer. So now we go to Leo Lagna, Simha Lagna. Where are the transits happening? So Jupiter, when in Gemini, will be near 11, then Saturn in 8th in Pisces, Rahu in 7th in Aquarius, and of course Ketu in Lagna, the planet of headlessness in your head. <laughs> but nonetheless, this should be a great transit for you, depending on your dashas. Categorically, I'll state that. Uh, but in general, you have the transits in all the good houses. Not uh, not Saturn, of course, is in the 8th. That's a difficult one. But in general, the other transits are very good. So, for example, best, 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 Jupiter in Gemini, transiting 11th, it's... Uh, yeah, it's the house of name, fame, power, position, uh, success success story <laughs> so this transit of jupiter in gemini in 11 for you will be favorable for your gains in all area you know career health marriage property uh, 11th houses overall all round holistic success so it will give you all round success and it will expand your network circle your social circle it will help you achieve your long term goals 
very 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 important then networking and community involvement will go you should get associated with some spiritual community or uh, some uh, community where you can give your services contribute yourself uh, maybe as a charity or uh, even you know for uh, improving your career or you know improving your health you know gym membership or something like that so that's fantastic because this will bring you great rewards now with saturn being in the 8th it may bring focus on your inner transformation so now for you what will happen is you will be getting gains in 2025 but the gains will not come at the speed that you want which means you have to be patient you have to wait and there will be uh, there will be delays there will be disappointments there will be setbacks which you get but these delays disappointments setbacks will not hinder you from progressing it will just act like a step stone for your success so and you have to understand it's not that you know eighth house is bad or eleventh house is good so it's mix and you know plus minus is zero no it's not like that you need to understand what is happening jupiter is in the 11th it will give you gains from uh, its end but because saturn is in the eighth what it will force you is to see why do you want these gains and is it really worth it so it can happen sometimes that you are running behind something uh, material and then you realize it was not worth it so you don't lose it but you give it up yourself so that could be a situation so there could be focus on you know shared resources and health also uh, is very important so take care of your health because another malefic ketu is in your ascendant and another malefic saturn is in the eighth so not the best period for your health so prioritize your inner well-being and have good relationships with people because eighth house shows other people and your deep relationships okay seventh house is people in general but eighth house shows with whom you have strong intimate connections <clears throat> So you have to prioritize your well-being and the well-being of others also and have this balance, okay? Now, why do I say balance? Because Rahu is in your seven. So this will bring partnerships, you know, both personal and business and they might be a bit unconventional, you know? So for example, if you are single and your Mahadasha, Antardasha is agreeing for marriage, you know, you might get married to you know a foreigner or a person from a different religion or different caste creed you know community different language different uh yeah different boundaries okay and you may attract individuals and uh later on suddenly you may realize it it's not what they said so therefore you have to be a bit cautious with letting somebody inside your uh, inner circle okay so that could be a romantic person or you know some friend or some relative or anybody because you have to verify what they say okay <laughs> so don't just let anybody come into your life okay and of course ketu in the first house this can encourage you to go towards spirituality and be a bit detached and it might discourage you from getting ego-driven results. So, for example, you are going and fighting with somebody. It's just to satisfy your ego. So, Ketu will not be happy if you do that. Okay, so therefore, embrace this time for inner growth and uh, self-reflection. At the same time, because Jupiter is in the 11th, so you are allowed to pursue all your you know materialistic desires and also your spiritual goals. So, in short, it's a great period to be successful but with some roadblocks and with inner introspection and be detached and be careful with other people. People might show something else, okay? And if your dasha is like very bad, then you might also get cheated. Cheated, you know, by your business partner or by anybody else also, okay? So therefore, please be careful with people, right? Take care, Leo. Now, we go to Virgo. Virgo, Kanya, Lagna. What's going on? Jupiter will be in your 10th house. In Gemini, this is a great period of uh, for your professional growth, recognition, professional expansion. Opportunities for leadership positions will come and you could gain through you know, mentors or higher authorities. 
at the same time saturn will be in your uh, seventh house in pisces this is a big bala position for saturn where saturn as a planet is extremely powerful so saturn here will emphasize commitment in relationships partnerships uh, may require more stability so if you are married or if you have a business business partnership or even if you are an employee and you have other colleagues you will require energy and efforts to strengthen the existing relation <clears throat> that's very 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 important and this partnership stability may require you know, a lot of patience and understanding and uh, efforts from your side so those in business partnerships uh, those who have a business partnership you you have to get rid of this you know short short term success mentality if you if you think you will be successful very uh, like you know without doing much then <laughs> it's not happening okay <clears throat> then rahu in aquarius in your 6th house this is great placement to fight with your enemies you no know, it will bring uh, it will give you an edge in competition you know to understand your rivals your competitors and to overcome obstacles only problem is there could be issues with your health especially your intestines so you need to be careful with your eating okay so don't overeat don't eat too much at a time or else your system will be disturbed and this is in general a great period to resolve your health issues or to win legal matters okay of course that will depend on your dasha if your dasha is good only then you will win if not you might also lose in legal battles okay now ketu is in leo in uh, the 12th house this is a great cherished placement for spirituality so ketu will bring a desire for spiritual exploration and solitude you can meditate for hours with this so you might be inclined towards uh, doing spiritual practices foreign travel or other introspective activities okay so very 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 important and the only problem is you might be a bit confused and you may not be aware of you know where your money is going because wherever ketu transits there is headlessness there so 12th house is expenditure so it's like you don't know where your money is going <clears throat> so therefore you need to be aware that you might be losing money even without knowing so please have a proper balance tracker and it's going to be good so overall this this year looks to be a bit diverse you know so one planet is in the 10th so it will give you name fame power position status another is in 7th so gains will be there through business partnerships but it will be slow and with a lot of efforts and rahu also in the 6th again great time for profession so basically this year will be a mixture of profession partnerships and spiritual growth and trying to find yourself all right so virgo i would say this is a great year for you congratulations and move ahead all right take care now we go to libra lagna tula lagna what's going on jupiter will be in gemini coming out of your dusthala house finally you will enter your ninth this is great and so this transit will support you know higher learning spiritual growth and travel opportunities for mentorship wisdom from elders or teachers may enrich your world view you no know, it may give you a different vision a different perspective of our life so fantastic from the ninth guru will aspect your lagna your third and your fifth house so brilliant 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 jupiter in ninth house fantastic okay thumbs up so get into get into close relationship with your you know mentors you know strengthen your relationship with your guru with members in the spiritual community okay with the existing uh, people who are guiding you your relationship should improve it should deepen it should become strong okay very 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 important and if you don't have a relationship at all then you should get into uh, this you know divine relationship and you should strengthen your com com communication with god and for that your relationship with your guru and your god brothers your god sisters is essential and it also shows you know higher learning and all this now saturn will be in pisces okay sixth house so hard work is you have to work hard okay so saturn in the sixth house will encourage disciplined approach towards health work daily routines okay you will have to cultivate discipline or you will be forced to <laughs> 
so this is a period where you might encounter some enemies and you know you might have to fight okay so professionally it shows you will be able to achieve a lot through perseverance okay and persistence now rahu is in aquarius in your fifth <coughs> this means rahu will bring creative uh, inspiration unconventional approach towards you know romance or speculative investments however uh, you should avoid risky financial uh, ventures okay this can be dangerous provided your dasha is also bad if the dasha is good it will give you gains in stock market okay? and it will channel your creativity a bit productively okay so therefore if you want to express yourself creatively then this is hands down the best time okay go and join that course or you know that singing dancing cooking club whatever you know and you will have a great time now ketu is in the 11th when ketu is transiting 11th in leo you may feel detached from social circles and you may feel you know where do i belong am i good in this circle that circle and you may feel that you know your social circle is not helping you and because of saturn in 6th you may feel oh i am all by myself so it's that daunting that dreaded feeling of you know not having anybody okay so libra lagna you might be all by yourself in 2025 all right <laughs> but there is somebody god is there with you because guru is in the night all right so therefore it's a it's a situation where you belong somewhere but you are kind of you know rethinking am i doing good in this organization should i be here should i be married to this person you know uh, should i study this should i be in this domain should i do this should i do that so ketu in the 11th you know your long term spiritual desires they are being uh, introspected spiritual and material also okay so therefore if you feel that you are a bit out of social life then it's fine that's okay you don't have to punish yourself all right so overall if i try to summarize this is a great period for learning and hard work and health and creativity and with your social circle you have to be a bit you have to expect less from people otherwise they may come and disappoint you all right tula lagna libra lagna please take care now we go to scorpio mystic lagna where are the transits happening these these transits are in good houses for you except jupiter of course jupiter is in gemini when he enters gemini there will be you know transformative phase you know that will encourage you to explore occult astrology numerology palmistry vastu energy healing reiki so many other things like right? psychology research now there could be issues related to inheritance financial windfalls are possible but you have to manage your shared resources with caution so if you are in the finance sector and you are dealing with money of other people then you need to be aware that this can be a bit challenging why 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 do i say challenging because you may be ultra optimistic you know overly optimistic and you may feel that you know okay i can just put the money anywhere okay so therefore if you feel that you have a tendency to take too much risk in the stock market or wherever then you need to control this otherwise it will backfire then saturn is in your fifth house saturn will bring you know serious approach to creativity you will become serious about improving your health because fifth house shows you know your immunity so you will have a serious uh, discussion with yourself or with your gym trainer or maybe with even your spouse regarding your eating habits so therefore you will also want to speculate and earn money because 5000 thousand of speculation but yeah you will do deep research okay so fundamental analysis has to be done you now then trading and all this you you might be doing but you will do a lot of research and knowledge so this is good for investments in the stock market actually <laughs> and in general it's a favorable period for doing studies with discipline also creativity and to develop long term creative projects you, know, you want to make some software or you know do something in youtube 
something creative okay now rahu is in fourth house uh, in aquarius so rahu may bring you know share of uh, domestic responsibilities and real estate also could be their own card so you may not buy a home but you will be you know spotting oh this house is this much here that house that much there what will happen you know how much are we, uh, how much should i put how much down payment is required how much will be the emi so these things you might uh, become a bit obsessed with and this could lead to you know unconventional experiences at your home or with your family members so therefore if there is a requirement of time for your family members then you should do it so give time to your family members especially to your mother and rahu in fourth of course it's a great period to learn something new and ketu in the 10th house this is this is a good placement but can get you a bit confused you know you may suddenly wonder what the hell am i doing in my career <clears throat> so this will bring you some detachment from the professional world so this will this period will favor you to work in a detached way from your career where you may feel okay i will do my work irrespective of if i get results okay and ketu intent can help you do work in you know like spiritual domain or you know counseling or other humanitarian work okay so overall you have the transits in good houses but you need to understand be careful with money especially if it is money of other people and upgrade yourself fourth house fifth house eighth house you know research upgradation and work without much expectation because of ketu in the 10th all right take care scorpio now we go to sagittarius what is going on dhanu lagna great time actually great year for you guru in the seventh house fantastic this will support partnerships marriages collaborations it's a favorable time to attract beneficial partners both romantic and business also and to enjoy you know like joyous harmonious relationships so what whichever relationship you have with people that will be magnified saturn in pisces in the fourth so this will bring focus to your home there might be some energy that you might require you know and especially real estate could be there on cards you might buy a home or if venus dasha is there you might also buy a car okay family responsibilities could increase and then you may experience you know a bit of like you know delay <clears throat> in you know satisfaction related to domestic matters you know some something going going on in your home or your house might need some repair your car might need some repairs but fourth house is also vidya so you might start studying something new in a very disciplined manner you know making notes systematically like you know study then rahu in third house aquarius fantastic rahu does excellent in the third house okay so rahu here will encourage innovation communication and short travels this is fantastic so this is a period which is favor favorable for being an entrepreneur starting your own business or having a side hustle side business <clears throat> from there it aspects the 11 so networking will also be there and you might do a lot of networking with foreigners or people from a different religion or community or gender or something like that and of course the best part of this transit apart from jupiter in the 7th for you for this year 2025 is ketu will be in the 9th this is this is fantastic this is this brilliant mind blowing it will help you become more spiritual connect to god do more mantras meditation it will help you go deeper into your you know philosophical pursuits read the scriptures meet your guru you know travel abroad learn more about god okay so in short fantastic period for you the only word of caution is because saturn is in fourth in kendra from there he is aspecting your 10th and the lagna <clears throat> so you may at times feel that you know your profession is going like not at the speed that you expected but that's fine that's okay so focus on where rahu is focus on networking focus on consulting focus on you know social media or you know your growth in social media and connections with other people because 
Jupiter also is in seventh, right? And spirituality, of course, very, very, very important because of Ketu in the line. So overall, great period. Have a nice time. Elevate yourself spiritually and have good social connections. All right, Sagittarius, thumbs up. Congratulations. Please take care. Now we go to Capricorn. Makar Lagna, what's going on? Makar Lagna, this is uh, this is like plus minus for you. <laughs> so, I'll tell you where is the plus, where is the minus. Now, plus minus does not mean it's zero. No, it does not mean that. Plus minus means the good and the bad will coexist simultaneously. Now, Jupiter will be in Gemini in the sixth house. So, focus on your health, daily routine, service you might... <clears throat> Jupiter, as you know, is the karaka for you no know, uh, fat and uh, fatty liver and you know, gallbladder problems or liver cirrhosis and also. If you have habits like you know drinking and all this, very dangerous. You have to take care. And you might become a bit more optimistic about your routine, or you might become a bit lazy. This is a bit problematic situation. So if your dasha is good, you will become. Uh, you will want to be very disciplined. If not then yeah you will feel that no 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 that's enough i have to i have to uh, you know do some radical changes in my life you know for example you might have a lot of loans and you know <clears throat> you might want to take even further more loans okay multiple loans so try not to do that so try to improve your health and stabilize your workplace very 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 important now saturn in pisces in the third, this will bring a serious approach to communication. And now, if you are thinking of getting into social media, I would recommend YouTube and LinkedIn are the best platforms with this transit because Saturn will not show something like getting viral overnight. It will show where you are building a community gradually, slowly you are doing things, okay? So you might aim for interviews. So this is a great placement for that learning short distance travels and any form of social media communication and your efforts to improve your skills will be rewarded but but with patience you cannot expect overnight results okay then Rahu in Aquarius great for money bad for family life so your family life may be a bit impacted your marriage especially why because Jupiter is also in 6 which is 12 to the 7 so Rahu's influence in the second house may bring, you know, unconventional ways of earning and uh, investing and growing your money. So financially, it's not a bad period. But you need to understand, it's malefic like Rahu. So it will always give you, you know, something shady like, you know, you might have chance to get black money or something like that. So <clears throat> why do I say black money? Because now... Your Jupiter has also gone to a Dustana. So you might be tempted to earn money through you know, wrong means. So you, you have to you have to be careful with it. And the other reason why I'm saying black money is because the fourth planet, Ketu, in Leo, is in your eighth house, transiting in the eighth. Okay. So Ketu in the eighth will encourage a spiritual approach, but it will be filled with transformation. And if you are not careful. There could be, you know, defamation, like, you know, yeah, or, you know, court case, you know, or, yeah, if the period is very bad, if your dashas are very bad, there could be, you know, arrest, imprisonment or something like that. Of course, that's there in extreme cases. But in general, this is not a good period to do anything wrong and shady. And why I'm saying this, because you may be tempted to do something like that, Okay. Or, you know, do something like tax evasion or something. Like, even if you are earning white money. So, please do not break the law, Capricorn. 2025 is like, it's like, imagine the government is always there with you. And be careful with what you speak, how you speak, what you write in social media. So, on those sites, this is a bit negative for you. And on the positive end, this is great. Like, you know, two planets in the earth houses, second house, sixth house and third house. So this is great for communication, for expressing yourself, earning money, job, interview and all this. So it's great on the external end. 
but wrong avoid doing wrong things and avoid spoiling relationships with your spouse okay your married life might be a bit affected so these are two things which you need to take care capricorn all right so do the best and leave the rest to god just don't break the law take care capricorn now we go to aquarius aquarius kumbha lakna great year for you jupiter is transiting in the fifth aspecting your 11th your lagna and your ninth brilliant position fantastic this will support your creativity you know love romance if you are single you can get in a relationship and if you are in a relationship you can get married because 11th house also shows marriage and if you are already married you can have children because fifth house as you know is the prime house of children and guru is the karaka for children okay so you may experience growth in matters related to children education and artistic pursuits creativity become creative saturn in pisces second house this will emphasize your desire to earn more money but through discipline and structure and when saturn is transiting the second there could be a situation where there is some disorderly behavior in your family like you know your uh, it could be anything like your children they are you know not sleeping on time they are doing whatever they wanted so now you are like no no i i bring discipline now but they say charity begins at home right so you always have to first discipline yourself and only then you should go and try to discipline others okay so savings and financial security will be very important but remember this period is only favorable for long term investments not for short term okay now rahu in aquarius in the first house so rahu will be in your ascendant this can bring this can bring a hyper inflated uh, conception of the self you may think oh you are the best okay and you may think you know better than everybody else everybody else is good for nothing you may feel like this <laughs> why you may feel not because just rahu is in the first but because also ketu is in the seventh so when ketu is in the seventh you may feel oh everybody around you is behaving like like an idiot okay you may feel like <laughs> it happens <clears throat> so you need to understand that you might develop some level of narcissism and on top of that rahu is receiving the aspect of jupiter which is kind of good and bad at the same time you know your your self believes you know your um, conception about yourself that will be kind of magnified i mean already it's magnified but now with jupiter's aspect it's further getting magnified so you might have a tendency to look down on people because ketu is also in your seventh in leo so please be aware that you have the right to express yourself creatively you, know, you have the right to earn money but don't bully others don't belittle others don't humiliate don't insult others if you do you will face it back okay now one thing is ketu in the seventh may give you a great opportunity to spiritualize your marriage so if you are already married maybe you should do some spiritual practices together or you may start feeling what the hell is going on in my marriage you know there is no happiness we are just staying as a formality and i want to break off this marriage so you might get all these uh, whimsical thoughts of you know ending your marriage divorce separation provided your dasha is bad in general it will not happen but if it is happening then you need to understand that you have to spiritualize wherever ketu goes you have to spiritualize that house so you know seventh house is marriage so spiritualize your marriage all right <clears throat> so aquarius to summarize this period can be a bit full of yourself and it might give you a tendency to look down on others so avoid doing that and financially it is good you will grow it's great for finances creativity and your career name fame also you could say you know because saturn also aspects the 11th but be careful with your marriage and your married life in general okay and your spouse especially 
because you may feel that your relationship is not worth maintaining but the moment you feel it try to spiritualize it all right all the best aquarius now we go to pisces mean lagna last but not the least as always jupiter will be in your fourth house saturn will be in your first house rahu will be in your 12th and ketu will be in your sixth ah it's a mixed transit okay mixed year so jupiter in gemini in the fourth house this is great for transit any transformation of your home you know like interior design or doing spiritual practices in your home doing some yagya griha pravesh buying a new house or car so anything to do with uh, roti kapra makan is great okay home uh, what is that food clothing and shelter <laughs> <laughs> so it's a great time to also learn something you know educate yourself and to look for emotional well being and also opportunities to enhance your domestic happiness will also come and property purchase as i have already mentioned now shani in lagna saturn in pisces first house this can force you to be extremely disciplined so pisces lagna gone are those days where you can do whatever you want so now saturn is in your first house in your ascendant okay so now you need to take control of your life so go and check every area what's going on with your health with your profession with your finances with your social circle your marriage your enemies <laughs> your diseases your spiritual life your friend circle with everybody so saturn will bring introspection and it will slow your life a bit so when i say slow i don't mean that it will not give you anything but it will give you with gradual effort so be prepared to work hard pisces lagna okay so responsibilities may increase but they will lead to long term stability and growth so this is a period where you need to understand and then act if you whimsically do things it will not be good then rahu in aquarius in the 12 this is great for you know going to foreign lands you know exploring different spiritual uh ashrams you know uh, foreign connections going into seclusion meditation or you know going for a vacation with your lover or your spouse but in general i have seen with rahu transiting the 12th you get your desires are spiritual apparently but actually it is mostly materialistic okay <laughs> so you may feel oh i should go to this place that place and go on you know some spiritual program but after going there uh, you may find yourself delighting in eating all the good things there you know like for example if you go to mathura you, you may be delighted to go but then after going there you are like oh i am eating you know this uh, kachori or whatever you know in banaras you are going and eating this malaiyo which they get in the winters nonetheless so even if it's like that still go do some spiritual practices <coughs> and elevate your consciousness but you will your exploration will be a bit more materialistic and ketu in the 6th house this could bring some confusion and headlessness in your daily work okay so this is a period where you have to you have to become a bit serious because ketu is in the 6th so wherever ketu transits it will always ask you why are you doing this is this required at all okay are you doing it because you want to sustain yourself or you want to be happy why in the universe are you doing something <clears throat> so if you feel that you are confused about your daily routine daily lifestyle and all this then you need to understand that it's not that you are unable to decide but your motivation has to be clear okay so please check why are you doing something and only then you will realize that your motivation was not correct 
and in general this can be a bit confusing period for your work so overall this year is like a mixed year for you so the good thing is you can explore you can learn focus on your home and with your life you need to become serious okay so 2025 is the year of seriousness for you Pisces Lagna so please take care all right thank you very much everyone Jai Siaram please take care